wedding is over, and so is the delight of preparation for that once-in-a-lifetime event. Now the real reason for marriage will begin. A couple worshipping as one, teaching the word of God to each other, serving Him together. What an ideal couple that could be. That was my dream when I got into a relationship. While it isn't impossible at all, it's also not that easy, especially if they have different priorities in life. I learned that a pious marriage is not something we get by chance, but it's something we create. The freedom to choose our path is a boundless grace that God has given to each of us. Today, let's learn together the words of God through Christ's disciple. Please allow me to read the scripture in my native language. Pagbasa mula sa sulat ni Apostol San Pablo sa mga taga-Efeso. Mga asawang babae, magpasakop kayo sa inyo-inyong asawa gaya ng pagpapasakop ninyo sa Panginoon. Ito ay sapagkat ang asawang lalaki ay siyang ulo ng asawang babae tulad ni Kristo na ulo ng iglesia at tagapagligtas ng katawan. Kung papaanong ang iglesia ay nagpasakop kay Kristo, gayon din ang mga asawang babae ay magpasakop sa sarili nilang mga asawa sa lahat ng mga bagay. Submitting ourselves to our husbands? That could be a tough one. We might not like it at all. What if the husband is abusive or unfaithful? Let us always remember that whenever we read the Word of God, we must read the whole context. It was stated that the husband is the head of the wife, just as Christ is the head of the church, and Savior of the body. Therefore, Christ is the Savior of the church, and so husbands should love their wives. Dapat ibigin ng mga asawang lalaki ang kanilang mga asawa tulad ng pag-ibig nila sa kanilang sariling katawan. Siya na nagmamahal sa kanyang asawa ay nagmamahal sa kanyang sarili. Ito ay sapagkat wala pang sino mang namuhi sa kanyang sariling katawan kundi inaalagaan ito at minamahal tulad ng ginagawa ng Panginoon sa iglesia. Ito ay dahil tayo ay bahagi ng kanyang katawan, ng kanyang laman at ng kanyang mga buto. Dahil dito, iiwan ng lalaki ang kanyang ama at ina at makikipag-isa sa kanyang asawa at ang 
dalawa ay magiging isang laman. So, if we follow Christ wholeheartedly, we have to die in ourselves and live in Him. We marry the person we love with Christ in the center. We did not only swear to our partner, but we swear to God.
like me, desire your husband or wife to join you in praising God and have a deep relationship with Him. Or if you have a dream for the good of your marriage but it isn't likely to happen, let's not stop asking the Lord. Even if we do not hear Him right away, the time will come when we will feel His response in His own way. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gracious Father, Thank you for permitting the desire of our hearts to be together in this life. You know that we are very weak, but we are willing to risk our hearts for each other under your control. May you guide wives to honor their husbands, and husbands to lead their wives unto you. Amen.